Hello everybody. Um, today I want to talk to you about something really interesting. I had this uh, about a few months ago, uh, probably five or six months, I had this conversation with a really intelligent professor and he um, talked to me about a few things about the latest uh, contributions and latest discoveries in quantum physics. And uh, he said to me, he talked to me about the string theory and how important it is and how it's, it's, it's trying to this theory is, is opening up a lot of doors and making a lot of breakthroughs to a lot of findings in the uh, field of physics. And one of the things that he talked about was a string theory, and which is a very open field right now, and everyone, everyone, every quantum physicist is trying to put contributions into it and trying to figure out what it is and whether it's true or not and, and such. Um, one important thing and very interesting thing there that I found about the uh, string theory is that they found out, you see how back in time we used in school and such, we used to learn how everything in this universe is made out of atoms and these atoms are, are uh, made of electrons and protons. Uh, but we never looked into what these protons are made of. So what they found out is that these protons, they, they consist of more finest uh, units that are called the quarks. These quarks, they contain even more finest things, more smaller things uh, into them that are basically strings. This string is vibrating and making a sound. And these strings are so small, they're so fine, that the naked eye absolutely can't see it. These strings are just a sound. This sound represents the very basic thing of the creation of everything in this universe. If you look at the Holy Quran, chapter Al-Kahf, the cave, it says if this whole sea was ink for the words of your Lord, if this whole sea was actually ink to be to be used to write the words of your, your own Lord, the sea would be exhausted before the words of your own Lord runs out, even if they brought one like it. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people, specifically of our brothers and sisters, they interpret this very verse that the words of thy Lord is the Holy Quran, but that's not true because if the sea was ink and we use it to write the Holy Quran, we would finish the whole Holy Quran before the sea is, is running out. But what actually this verse means is that the words of the Lord is let there be a tree, let there be a bird, let there be this, let there be that. It's the commands of the creation that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says all the time, literally, with voice, says all the time, to create everything. And in another place in the Holy Quran, Allah Almighty says, His command is what when He wills to create something, He says to it, let it be, and it becomes. So, I want you just to link this up, string theory and this verse in the Holy Quran, and it's very interesting, and uh, just, just, just look it up and study about it. It will open up a lot of doors for you. It will it will give you more understanding about how amazing this book is and how amazing the creation of Allah, the creation of the Almighty Lord is. Thank you.